can already hear people say you're lying in the comment section, but no, like I've actually helped people revamp, redo their budgets and they really did have anywhere from 100 to $400 that they didn't think they had and it wasn't because they just made an exorbitant amount of money. It's because they just weren't paying attention to how they were spending it. It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two swoosh chains what is going on everybody it is a Monday so thank you again so much for tuning in to my channel to start off your week please make sure that you are entering the 10k giveaway all of the details are below just as soon as we hit that I will make sure to pick the winners do the announcement and we will just keep surging ahead after that I really just I'm probably just gonna not even focus on the numbers and focus more so on making sure that I continue to provide you guys valuable content this video should be a short one. Uh, I really do wholeheartedly believe in the statement that I made in the very beginning of this video, and it's based off of experience. So no, I am not by actual profession uh, a financial planner. They a lot of times deal with investments and things of that sort. Once again, I love just helping people create a budget. It's a simple plan. Like I like implementing plans just to let you know a little weird quirk about me. I've actually gotten the chance, humble and I'm really grateful for that experience to be able to help young adults redo their budget to make sure that they had money for the different things that they needed. So it wasn't that they were necessarily in some dire situation. Now one situation was a uh, few that I've done were not, but in terms of having, you know, a look at what you want to be able to do with your money and then look at what you're currently doing and the income and you can't seem to make it all make sense. A lot of times that's just because you're not really cognizant of what is going on with your money at the time. How easily does this happen if you are just bored and you choose to go browse around? You can browse around an actual store, you can browse around online, you can be in a convenience store just to kill time. I know parents end up doing this if their kids are at a sporting practice or something and you don't want to run all the way back across town. So you may just hop into the mall, walk around, and you don't understand that if you are spending $10, $20, $30 here, it adds up. If you are not aware of different things that you're spending money on, you may think that there's no way I can afford X, Y, or Z, but there really is that extra 100 or 200 or 300 that you need in your income already. You just have to find the leak, as Dave Ramsey would say. Now, he calls it a leak in the budget. Like, where have you sprung a leak? Where is the money kind of just seeping out of where you are not aware or you're not in control of it? I've done that. I had somebody who wanted to do a number of different things, whether it was fitness related, self care, uh, make sure that they had the, the means to pay for uh, a new car that they were going to have. Once again, it's not based on what my preference would be of how people spend money, but it's based on what do you want to do with your money? Because your budget should be tailored for you, 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 not at what anybody else says. I know they have the rules of the 50, 20, 30. Yes, I would at least adhere to the fact that your rent or your mortgage should never be more than 25 to 30% of your take home pay but outside of that like quite honestly it's all going to be based on you i don't have kids so certain things in your budget will never in the near 10 years i'm just going to be honest with you probably uh be in my budget so that's going to be different your budget is tailored for you mine is tailored for me but finding that extra money that you that you have in your budget do you know what it takes sitting down number one and tracking all of your expenses and i know this sounds like really really type a and you're like you want me to sit here and track all my expenses for a whole month yes but i don't want you to act different don't start acting brand new make sure that you're you're just honestly operating and managing your money as you would any other time and just keep track of every single thing now people will do this often when they switch up a diet they'll just keep a food diary just to see what's going on and do you know what happens when you actually track all of your expenses and all of what you intake in terms of calories you find out that you are overspending in ways you never thought you were and you're overeating by a hell of a lot so both of those are probably going to be real shocks to your system but it's okay self-awareness is growth it is necessary to do better so make sure that 
set you number one, just go ahead and track everything that you were spending for an entire month and then take a look at all of that because what you thought you were maybe spending on eating out, you could be spending an extra $50 more. What you thought you were just spending on, I don't know, you thought your bills were intact and let's just say, you haphazardly pay them when you want to pay them and then you have late fees and you're just like, oh my goodness, now I've acquired another $25 in late fees. Well, that's 75 right there. When it comes to, uh, I'm trying to think of one. Yeah, you guys have budgets sometimes. We all have budgets for like spending clothes or sneakers and we're like, I'm just gonna spend this. And you don't realize like, oh, well that was on sale and that was just a simple add-on. But those little sales and add-ons that are just $7, $10 here, what if they eventually do end up adding up to $50 or more during the month? So a lot of times it's there in your budget. The good thing to do, I would say, once you have looked at everything that you spent for that month and you kind of do have that eye opener, then make a list of what you really want to do. Like what are those must do things you wanna be able to do for your budget? Because once you write those down, you might have a much bigger amount at the end and you're like, where did this come from? That's from actually having a plan with your money. And I've done this where there was still an extra $400 sitting there once the must haves are taken care of. And that's usually the first four. So that's taking care of the roof over your head, utilities, um, that could also, you know, transportation and then, you know, food. Food. Once those are taken care of, and then if you have minimum debt payments, always account for those. And then if you want to save an amount, which I hope you are every single month, go ahead and do that. And then some basic sinking funds, like a car maintenance fund is something I would always say have. Once you're done with that, I've really had people when I helped them do the budget, they had an extra $400 just sitting there. And I was like, all right, so now based on the things you told me you wanted to be able to do with your money, here's how we can do them. And you allocate that $400. Now, believe it or not, this is all detailed in my budgeting ebook. And so many of you have reached out to me to say, hey, I watched a random video on X, Y, or Z on your page and you mentioned your ebook and I wanna take a look at it. Thank you for that. It is 100% free and I'm always happy to send it to you guys because I break down how the person has a plan and then how they can actually allocate that extra money. Now, it is based in the book on set, which is saving extra debt and treating yourself. So I'm a big proponent of trying to do all three of those things because I think they keep life in balance, they keep it in focus, and they keep it realistic. Like it's not really realistic to work hard all of your uh, your days and just not do anything for yourself. Like I think that sets yourself up for splurging or binging ridiculously and it's just not sustainable for a lot of people. So that's why I budget the way that I do and that's why I recommend that in my book, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead, comment below. Um, if you've ever redone your budget and you're just like, I really got extra money to do what I want to do if I'm just not being a knucklehead with it. All right, so thank you so much again. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.